Hey folks, Matt here. Uh, I'm going to show you guys um, how we can walk through using script variables to great, get this add contact button to work to add an entire contact with name, phone number, and address to a contact list. So last episode of SCP, we opened up this project. We made a variable called contact list. It's a global variable. Here it is set to zero. And what we did was we initialized it as an empty list. What that means is we set contact list to a list that is, boom, empty. We put that under green flag so that when we run the program from the beginning, it becomes an empty list. The next thing we did was we made a block called um, create contact. It's an operator reporter block, okay? And it's called create contact, and we need a name a number and an address, we hit OK, and then we need a name variable, that's why we wrote those down, a number variable for phone number, and a, and again, these are variables, uh, input variables, so different from this variable, and an address, because these are variables that are going to be input into the block. So now we can use these whenever we need to by dragging them out here, we can drag as many of them out as we want, that's how those work, and what we want to report is a list with three items. The person's name, whatever they type in here, goes here. The number, second, and the address, third. And we're going to report that. Hit apply and OK. Now when we use this block, here it is. If I put my name in, Matt, my number, 555, and my address, do 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 blah, 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 there we go. It reports a list. That's all we want it to do is report a list. So now here's the tricky part. How do we get, how do we push this button, get that button to ask us what our name, number, and address is, store those items here in this block, and then report it and put it up here in the master contact list? How do we get all that to work? Well, first we need an event when I am clicked. Make sure you're on the add sprite because that's this button here. This button is this sprite. When I am clicked, and we're going to use our ask and answer, ask and answer technique, where we ask a question and whatever you type in here gets stored in this answer. Do you see how it says Matt now? That's because I typed it in there. So we're going to use this combo, and then we're also going to use something called a script variable, which is a variable that you use temporarily for like one algorithm. So I will not need this variable for all these sprites like contact list. I will need this variable as I code all these other sprites. That's a global variable. This variable I'm only going to need in this little algorithm that I build for this button. So I'm only going to use the script variable. And I'm going to call it name because I'm going to ask what's the name. And then I am going to literally ask what's your name. And then watch what I do. The answer becomes whatever you say here, right? So we're going to set, and once you make this, it'll show up here, name, set name to answer. And then um, the name variable will become my name, and we're gonna, then we're, we can take this variable and put it here after, after it actually asks me, and it will go in the name spot for this create contact. I'm going to do that two more times, this entire piece. Watch what I do here. Duplicate it, and name is going to become number this time. This time I'm going to ask, what's your number? And then I'm going to set number to the answer. That goes second. And then finally, one more time, you guessed it, address, and a third script variable address. This time I'm going to ask for the address, and we're going to set address to the answer. Three questions, three answers, and each time this variable gets set to the answer, and then we're eventually going to put them down here. And then how do I get this list? It didn't make it yet, so it's an error. How do I get it in here? If you guessed add thing to list, we're going to add this entire thing to contact list. And that's the list here. So now look, we just built an algorithm, and let's see if it works. Add contact. What is your name? Matt. What's your number? My number is 555-5555. And what's your address? 
410 East 100th Street because I live at school. Psych, not really. Now look what happened. I hit enter and it ran the algorithm and at the end it placed my entire finished contact with name, number, and address into the contact list as its own sublist. That's what this algorithm does. So that's what we're building today. We are activating the add contact button by creating an event. When I'm clicked, we're creating, we're asking three questions. What's your name? What's your number? And what's your address? And each time we set a script variable to be the answer of that question. That way we can store the answer and ask another question. And then we can save up these three answers. And then they go down here into our create contact. And then that generates a list and it puts it into the master contact list with this red ad block. That's how all those work together. So today's assignment is building this algorithm for the add button and actually activating the button so you can physically press it. And now I can say, Sean, what's your number? 777-7777. And what's your address? The moon, because Sean lives on the moon. Hit enter, and look, I've added a second contact to my list. Sean on the moon. All right, folks, go ahead and try to build this algorithm. You can always uh, replay this video, rewind it, um, and uh, go for it. Make sure you save this and turn it in. This is the step two of the contact list. We're adding, coding the add contact button. All right, see you next time.